quick session on using some abstract brushes to put some background effects behind a logo. And as I said in the intro video, this is a really important method that you could use for upselling. You know, if your client comes in with his logo and you make him a comp that has his logo in the comp, but then also show him his logo with some nice effects built into it and ask him which one looks better to you. Obviously, quite a few of your clients are going to opt for the upsell, but we'll see how we could do this with their brushes. Now here I've got my Mountain Dew logo, and what I want to do is go ahead and set up another layer beneath that for my brushes. That'll be my layer 20. I'm going to come over here to my brushes, and then I'm going to go to my Illustrator brushes. I'm going to go to my Abstract, and I'm going to go to my Warped Abstract. Now these are some pretty wild brushes set up with half tones and then kind of warped and twisted around a little bit. But I'll go ahead and grab this brush here. I'm actually going to start with this one down here at the bottom. And we'll take a look at a couple of these. These are pretty wild brushes and you can see that effect there. And we've got this one here. I'll go ahead and select that and we'll just take a look at a couple of these here quickly. And you can imagine some of the effects and design elements you could make with these. But there's some pretty cool effects in here that you could use in your backgrounds, etc. for your design elements. But I'll go ahead and work with this one. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this stroke here. And all I'm going to do to dress up this logo just here in a matter of minutes is I'm just going to go ahead here and I'll start with a stroke here. I'll left click, hold down, bring that up, and then kind of swoop it there that way. Do the same thing over here coming back out of the bottom and then kind of swoop that up to one side. And then we'll do the same thing coming back down out here out of the bottom. Then I'm going to come back out here out of the top and I'm going to come down in and swoop down the other way here. And we'll do another stroke here and we'll come in this way and swoop that over that way. And then we'll do our final stroke here as coming out here. Now looking at this I probably want to have some more effect coming in here for the balance of the entire effect. So we'll go ahead and turn off the Mountain Dew logo and we'll take a look at what we've got here. I'll go ahead and click here and I'm just going to get my direct select tool here and just click this and bring this down this way just so that there's some more of that there in behind the logo. Turn that back on and that'll be fine right there. Now I could go ahead and select everything on this layer here. Let me go ahead and that's am I in the right layer? Or did I actually let me see here. I put all that down here on the shirt. I was on the wrong layer there, but that's okay. Go ahead and select all of these here. I'll just hit Control X. Make sure I've got everything selected there first. Hit Control X and I'll go back to that layer. I'll just go Edit and I'll go Paste in Place. Now that's all set there. Now I can go here and I can go Object, Expand Appearance, and then I can start to change the colors here and see what those will look like. Click off and see how those look as a yellow. Or I could select them all again and see how they look as, say, a bright green. And I could go ahead and also turn on the white comp, turn off the black comp, and see how that looks on a white t-shirt. Get a lot more pop of the black. So in that case, if the client said, well, I just want my logo on a white t-shirt, and you show them the logo on the dark t-shirt with some of these effects or brushes built into them, well you can imagine what they're going to say when they see the difference. So just a quick touch of abstract to a logo design. You could really use this for upselling and also in your regular design work just to make things look a little bit more off the wall and give the designs a little bit more pop. We'll go ahead and wrap here and we'll continue in our next session.